we have studied concept of stagnation that is and also we have derived what is stagnation pressure density as well as temperature let us use these formulas to calculate real life uh, to solve real life problems on stagnation pressure density and temperature <music> We have a problem which states that find the Mach number when an aeroplane is flying at a velocity of 110 kilometers per hour. So that is what is given to us. That is the velocity. Now, through a still air having a pressure of 7 Newton per centimeter square, that is the pressure of the air at that altitude and the temperature is minus 5 degrees celsius and the higher altitude the temperature tend to be very low so that is minus 5 degrees celsius the wind velocity may be taken as zero so the velocity of the wind we do not take into consideration we assume that it is traveling through a space where there is minimum amount of wind resistance so if there is minimum amount of wind resistance this means that what happens is the fluid is static and the aeroplane is moving at a very high velocity neglecting the effect of the wind which is traveling in any direction. So the value of universal gas constant is given to you as 287.14 joule per kg Kelvin. We have to calculate the pressure density as well as temperature at the stagnation point taking gamma is equals to 1.4. So first we have the velocity of the fluid that is V1, then we have the temperature of the uh, air that is T1, we have the initial pressure that is P1, there is no mention of density over here, so there is no density of the fluid given. So let us write down the data which we know. So this is data which is given to us as V1 is equals to 100 and, uh, 1100 kilometers per hour so that will be 100 and uh, 1100 into 5 upon 18 we'll keep that factor as it is we'll just substitute in the calculator in that sense so this will be in meters per second next data is given to us as temperature is equals to minus 5 degrees celsius the important part over here is that we have to convert this into kelvin so this will be equals to minus 5 degrees Celsius plus 273. This will be 268 Kelvin. That is the temperature T1 of the air. Next, what is given to us? That is the pressure that is equals to 7 Newton per centimeter square. So this is 7 into 10 to power 4 Newton per meter square. This should be in SI units. So we have all this initial data. Let us calculate first the Mach number. Then we have to find all the other density, all the other things. So first thing we have to calculate is the Mach number. Then we have to calculate what is stagnation density, stagnation pressure and stagnation temperature. Now let us write down formula for Mach number. So Mach number is given as m1 that is max number of the air will be equals to v1 upon c1 so the air will be constant over here velocity of the air is constant but the plane is traveling at a higher velocity that is 1100 kilometers per hour so let us substitute this but over here the problem is we don't have the sonic velocity that is the velocity of sound so we know that for an adiabatic process c1 is equals to root of gamma into r into t so this will be calculated as c is equals to that is a square root of 1.4 into 287.14 into the temperature is 268 so the velocity of the sound after the calculation comes out to be 328.2 meters per second that is the velocity of sound for an adiabatic process now let us substitute back in this equation. So the Mach number over here will be given as 1100 into 5 by 18 just converting this into kilometers per second upon 
0.2 so this will give us Mach number which is in the close range of 0.31 it is a subsonic flow it is not traveling but it is tending towards the value of sonic velocity but it is a subsonic velocity so we have calculated the Mach number let us calculate what is stagnation pressure now the formula of stagnation pressure is given by stagnation pressure ps is equals to p1 into 1 plus m1 square by 2g into gamma minus 1 the whole bracket raised to gamma upon gamma minus 1 so we know each and every term in this equation that is pressure p1 the Mach number value of g gamma and let us substitute this in that equation so the initial pressure over here is uh, given as 7 into 10 to power 4 into 1 plus Mach number is 0 0.31 square by 2 into 9.81 into 1.4 minus 1 the whole raised to 1.4 upon 1.4 minus 1 so on calculation of this entire part the value of ps comes up to be 12.24 into 10 to power 4 newton per meter square obviously the pressure will be more than the atmospheric uh, atmospheric stagnation pressure will be of course more than the atmospheric temp, uh, atmospheric pressure because it is traveling at a very high velocity the pressure density the pressure over there will be very high so we have calculated what is stagnation temperature uh, stagnation pressure let us calculate what is stagnation temperature so stagnation temperature ts is equals to t1 into 1 plus m1 square by 2g into gamma minus 1 raised to 1 upon gamma minus 1 so let us substitute this this uh, temperature was 268 Mach number is 0 0.931 the whole square upon 2 into 9.81 into 1.4 minus 1 the entire raised to 1 upon 1.4 minus 1 so on calculation of this we will get the value of ts that is stagnation temperature of course it will be higher than the normal uh, atmospheric temperature this will be 314.44 kelvin and next we have to calculate what is stagnation density stagnation density since we don't have the initial density of the fluid can be calculated by rho s is equals to p s upon r into t s so we can substitute this is 12.24 into 10 to power 4 upon r has a value of 287.17 and the temperature is 368 so on calculation of this the density that is stagnation density comes out to be 1.355 kg per meter cube that is the value of stagnation density so i hope you have understood how we calculate first the velocity then the Mach number stagnation pressure stagnation temperature and stagnation density thank you